Hey, shalom, shalom is well. Uh, first up, I want to call a lolly. How about she may have shy, but she may have a crash. But the honor still elders and apostles of great millstone. Shalom to you, brothers, and highways and the byways. Preaching and teaching his word in sincerity and in truth. This is your brother Chapal from James Jamaica Camp. Um, for the next lesson again, you know, uh, so this lesson, what I want to do is be a support for, um, sufficing or being sufficient you know what I mean scripture tells us um, until the day um, is the evil thereof you know what I mean for the paraphrase the scripture you know so the Lord basically I will give us what we need in other time we are approaching because we can't see that you know, it's a time of Jacob children man. right a lot of brothers feet are going to be tested you know not only that but you know Lord's will the Lord put the spirit upon us to endure but a lot of brother, um, look, a lot of brother will be head, be beheaded for the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai sick, you know. It's but the scripture, the part one focus upon is um is the famine, you know what I mean? Because the scripture say oh the famine is a terrible way to die, man. Right? The scripture say better be slain by the sword, better to be slain by the sword than be slain by an hunger, by hunger, you know. So. We just want to say, oh, well, the Lord will suffice you in a time of trouble, man, and not you yourself. All right? This is uh, St. John 6 and verse 35. He said, Whosoever cometh to me will never go hungry. Will never hunger, right? And whosoever believeth in me will never um, be thirsty. All right? Sin. Because, look, the scripture says, I am a true. We are um, on the, uh, the life, if you roughly paraphrase the scripture, <laughs> you know, saying so. The way to how about Shime you know what I mean, is, is um, through these, these words and faith and believing in these words, man. And as long as you believe in these words, you know what I mean, the scripture say, Oh, the Lord, I go feed them servants, man. Right? It's all over the scripture. But when the, the, the time comes, you know what I mean, the, the, these words have to be embedded in your mind and knowing that, look. This is what the Lord said, man. Because it seems that there is no hope. Two third of people are going to start bug up, man. Like headless chicken running up and down, man. That's why we need to draw ourselves from among the two thirds, man. Because we know who will bring these things. And we know the only solution. Or we are going to get out of this predicament that we are going to be in. Because we know we have to go face that time. Right? For the kingdom of heaven come. Right? Scripture says, too much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. Alright, and these are one of the tribulations, but hoarding up food now gonna help you. Alright? Sin? Because that shows you that you have a lack of faith in your how bashim you share that it will feed you. And you'll rely upon yourself. You know what I mean? And it's not a sin for you, you know what I mean? Grab a couple of extra things as the apostles them was, was going in and the elders them was going into. You know what I mean? Sin over, you know, the Lord I got suffice him and I will get, we'll get some account in the scriptures. From both angles, seeing so the first accord one get is uh first Kings seventeen and, and verse we start of verse one. Alright, this is account um this is first Kings seventeen and one. Say and Elisha the Tishbite who was of the inhabitants of Gilead said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain. Um, these years, but according to my word, all right. Verse 2 And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence and turn thee eastward and hide thyself by the brook of Cherith, all right, that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have command raven to feed thee. See, so these are some of the things we are going to happen in at that time. And look, we never see a house shy, you know what I mean? We're going to read about your house shy in all the scriptures, right? See, but that's the beginning of faith, hearing the words of how about she may shy, which faith is a gift and believing, man. See, we have to go take, you know, trust me, a lot of faith are going to be required to do that, man. Faith, see, so now at the time. You know, we need to hunt up 
and those prayers and, and those fasting and get closer to you. How about Shimei You know what I mean? Ask him for things now. Right? And prove him. That's when we enter into that time. We know that, yeah. Okay, cool. I've proven you how shy already. You know what I mean? So I know that whatsoever, he will suffice. You know what I mean? And basically, if, if you don't really prove you how shy you now, man, and you know what I mean? You go in a battle, you're not sure. You know what I mean? Because, you know... <laughs> You know, it's, it's a thing, man, where we need, you know, we need to prove you how about Shimei Oshai, man. Okay, so this is, uh, so verse 5, we'll just jump to verse 5, we get another point out of the scripture. So, um, so he went and uh, did according unto the word of the Lord, for he went and dwelled by the book of Cherit, um, that is before Jordan, and the ravens bought him bread and fish, in the morning and bread and fish in the evening and he drank of the brook all right see it's um and it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had um been no rain in the land seeing so him get a pro him get a prophecy and he deliver it all right and the prophecy come to pass, but the Lord make sure that he was okay. Yes, isn't it the same thing we're doing now, man? We get a prophecy to tell the people. We know what's coming. That's, that's the difference between us and two-thirds, man. We know what's coming. Just like Elisha El El know what's, what was coming. And the Lord make sure that he was okay. But it's the same thing, man. Scripture says, look um, of the generation of all. Have, edit, have, um, have any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Elisha trust in the Lord that, look, he was going to be okay, man. And the Lord uh, gave him what he needed. You know what I mean? Both morning and night. Seeing that's the same feet we need to go in, man. Because it's going to be harder this time around. Not hearing the voice of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, the angels, man. Alright? Seeing? That's so precious. That's so hard it's going to be, man. But it's going to be a precious thing. Because that, that feet, trust me, man. That, that, that feet, you know, that's going to be precious in the eyes of the angels. If you see that? You know, um, the next one we'll get is um, verse, uh, this is Luke uh, 12 and verse 16. Say, and he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man bought forth plentifully, and he had, <coughs> and he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have more, I have no room where to bestow my food and he said this i will do i will pull down my barn and build greater and there i will bestow all my fruits and my goods and i will say to my soul soul thou as much goods laid up for many years take thine ease eat and drink and be merry <laughs> right <laughs> but he said unto him Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then, whose shall those things be? Alright? Which thou hast provided. See? So this man now, <laughs> this certain rich man has been hoarding up goods, man. Right? Example what not to do, man. No, it's not wrong for you. You take um, a few things. But the scripture goes down for tell the wise, eh? Well, a matter of fact, the scripture shows you that wherever your 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 um your treasures are there your also will your, your mind from paraphrase it your your mind will be there also all right sin <coughs> sin so 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 this certain rich man all right never have enough faith man you know what i mean and when you're rich as the scripture say it's it's easy for the for a camel to go to the eye of a eagle and a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven man See, because when you reach and you have certain substances, then your mind starts to depart from your how about me or shy me. Alright? See? Okay, um seeing and and for so hold up things man that shows that you have a lack of faith. As I said before, this is an example one not to do. You know what I mean? Alright? See because the Lord I will give you sufficient things, man. You know? The Lord I will give you sufficient things. And plus, the scripture said, be even as pilgrim upon the earth. So you're going to have to move from place to place, man. You're not going to have the time to order things. 
and stay with, with the things that we are old of which I have to protect it. You know what I mean? You know, that, 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 that is not wisdom, man. You know? Seeing so. Yeah, and, and trust me. You have a lot. You have a lot in this precept, but. No matter of fact, let's, let's just continue in this precept. And because I have a lot. Probably have to do um, another part to this video. Because I really don't want to make this video long, but. Let's just continue. Verse 12 says. Verse 21, a matter of fact, say. So it's he that lay up treasures for himself and is not rich towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the scripture says what? Um, I think it's James, James 5. Say, so I have chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith. Right? And, and basically, he wasn't rich in faith, man. He was rich in substances, but in faith towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know? See? And he said unto his disciples, verse 22. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for your body what ye shall put on. The life is it's like a, it said, the life is more important than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the raven, for they neither sow nor reap, neither which neither have uh, storehouses nor barn, and ye how washing or shall feed it them. How much more ye how much more ye better than the false? How much more are ye better than the false? Like you? Right? And which of you and which of you uh with uh which of you with taking thought can add um to his status one cubit? Okay. It's a, and if uh, so if ye then be not able to do that thing which is which is least right why take ye thought for the rest consider the lilies how they grow they toil not yet right they said they spin not and yet i say unto you that solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these right and basically, look, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai did all these things, man. Right? Look, we, we deal with the power to create the heavens and the earth. Is it, you tell me now, right? Is it a hard thing for Yahweh Bashim Shai to feed you in a time of distress? A man will create all that you see, man. Everything. On the face of this earth that you look on is of Yahweh where Yahweh shine man, our power. The ones who will confess, man. Alright, the ones who will hold the highways and the byways, teaching up, doing his work. Is it too hard for Yahweh where Yahweh shy? Alright, for to give you what you need in the time. Alright? The sufficient things in the time, man. Is it hard? Yeah? That I want to think where we need to ask ourselves, man. You know, seeing so continuing, he said, If then God so clothed the grass which is today in the field and tomorrow cast into the oven, how much will he clothe you, O ye of little feet? That is the thing, man. That is the thing. That's 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 when you don't have the feet, man. You know. These are the things where, where, where come to your mind when you have no fear doubts. You know? Verse 29 says, Seek second, and seek not ye what ye shall eat, nor what ye shall drink, neither be ye of, of doubtful mind. Seeing because as you read the scripture, Elisha wasn't of a doubtful mind. Man. And he wasn't seeking or wondering what he was going to eat. Because the Lord had already given him instructions what to do, man. But we have instruction in that scripture today, man. And we have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. I mean, Lord's will, the Lord put that spirit on a lot of us. Saying so we can do His will. You know what I mean? And so we can be protected in that time. Man. I say, for all these things, um, do the nations of the world seek after. And your Father know it that ye have need of these things. 
Seeing the Lord done already know, man. <laughs> That's the thing, man. The Lord done already know. Isn't the Lord bringing this destruction, man? Oh, all of a sudden, the Lord been grooming you in this truth. I mean, looking forward, looking after you in this truth, man. And then, up to the time when the thing gets sticky, the Lord will skip out on you, man. Hey, what kind of God you think you serve? What kind of um, power you think we serve, man? Look, the Lord will go, the Lord will go, will hold us down in that time, man. The Lord will go be for us. The Lord's will to keep the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Right? That's the thing, man. Stay in the faith, keeping the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, doing His will, being obedient, you know? So we can, in our time, we can be found worthy to be protected, man. Of feet. So it's a fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Alright? So basically, we're going to um, stop this lesson right here. And then we're going to do a follow up to it. But the scripture I want to end off with, basically, is one from, um, you can get it. Uh, it's Proverbs, uh, Proverbs 30, and verse 8. Uh, this is Proverbs 30, and verse 8. So it says, Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenience for me. Least I be full and deny. So least I be full and deny thee and say, Who is the Lord thy God? Alright? Or least I be poor and steal and take thy name in vain. See? So basically, precept I say, Oh, take far from me these things, man. Right? Because, look, the Lord, you have washed me out shy, I will give you the things where you need it, man. Right? Feet are one of the things where you need first and foremost. You know what I mean? Okay? The words of Yahweh Bashim are said where you need it, embedded in, embedded in your mind. Right? See? So the Lord will give you what you need. The Lord will not, maybe you now get a, you now go get a, you now get a meal wherein, you know, it's, it's a, a full three course meal or whatever it is that your heart desire. Amen. Amen. I'm trying to find another precept. I love this precept. So, um, uh, bear with me a minute. Alright, so this is um this is uh this is uh this is Deuteronomy eight and verse uh, verse eleven. Deuteronomy eight we start at verse eleven so beware that thou forget not the Lord and not keeping his commandments and his judgment and his statutes which I have commanded thee this day, least when thou hast heaten and art full, thou hast built um, goodly houses and dwell therein. Alright, verse 13 says, And when thy herbs and thy flock multiplied, and thy silver and thy gold multiplied, right, and all that thou hast multiplied, then thine heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt. Speaking about the Asian, the Egypt, but you know what I mean? Scriptures are multiful, because now we are the, um, we in Egypt now. You know what I mean? Spiritual Egypt. Right? Um, the house of bondage will let thee through great multitude, great, uh, uh, and terrible wilderness, wherein are fire serpents. Uh, wilderness. Alright, I'm just jump to verse 7, forget the point. It's like here. Verse 17 says, And thou say in thine heart, My power and might 
and the might of my hands has gotten me this wealth. That's the point you want to get to me. Same because, look, <laughs> this is the thing, man. When you have adequate things, man, you forgot your how about Shimei man. And the Lord not going to let that happen. I mean, sometimes the things that we need for ourselves, we think we need for ourselves, the Lord not going to really give us that because it, it's really detriment to our health. Right. health man. That's why we need to be satisfied with the little we have. You know, that's when we really go off, man. You know, because these things have spirits on them. So we just want to stop this one here and, you know what I mean, continue on another one. You know, so Lord's will, this lesson was edifying. You know, um, Shalom. Um,